Hi guys, today I'm going to go through balancing chemical equations. A lot of you have requested this video because it's something that you're finding difficult. Now, I'll go through the techniques first, then I'm going to go through about eight different um, uh, examples. But the one I want you guys to do at home first is pause the video, try and do it yourselves, then watch my solution, and hopefully we've both got the same answer. So starting off, the technique. Now, the number of atoms of each element before and after a chemical reaction must be equal. The reason why is because we can't make or destroy atoms. So, in our example here, I've got hydrogen plus oxygen goes to make water. Now, water is kind of an odd-looking molecule. kind of looks a little bit like Mickey Mouse. We've got two hydrogens and one oxygen. But we've got a bit of a problem because we've got, well, we've got two oxygens over here. So let me just draw the two hydrogens. Here are H and H. And here we've got oxygen and oxygen. Because both hydrogen and oxygen are what we call diatomic molecules, they, they come around as pairs. Now, we've only got one oxygen here. So what would be a good idea is if we've only got one here, but we've got two here, why don't we just double the amount of this molecule that we've got here? So we're going to double the amount of water. So here we go. There's another one. And to show that I'm having going to double the number of uh, water molecules, I need to put a 2 in front of the H2O. So what have we got so far? Well, we've got two molecules. There's one molecule of water. There's another molecule of water. Now, 2 times by 2... We've got one, two, three, four hydrogens here. Two times by, well, you can imagine there's a one there. Uh, by one, two times by one, I've got two oxygens here. Now that's working out for oxygen. We know this is going to be a one in front of here, so one times by two. We've got two oxygens here. We've got two oxygens here. We've got the same number of oxygens on both sides. If I put a one in front of the uh, O2 here, okay, but... What about the hydrogen? Well, let's have a look. We've just got two hydrogens on the left-hand side. We've got one, two, three, four on the right-hand side. That's not balanced at the moment. So, if I put another molecule of hydrogen here, uh, and I put a two in front of here, well, let's check. Two times by two is four. One, two, three, four. 2 times by 2 here is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. Balanced. So just remember, the number of atoms of each element beforehand must equal uh, the number of elements after the chemical reaction. Well, let's go through some examples and you'll, you'll get it it's pretty soon. Okay, starting off, we've got nitrogen and hydrogen and it's going to make uh, ammonia, which is NH3. Now straight away we've got two nitrogens over here, but we've only got one here. So what we could do is double the molecule up here, and then let's see if that's going to help us. So here we go. So let's say we've got uh, two here. Now now I've got, uh, how many nitrogens have I got uh, on this side? Well now I'm going to have two nitrogens, and hydrogen I'm going to have uh, six, because two times three is six. Now on the left side, well if I put a 1 there, my nitrogens, again I've got 2, so that's working out. Now hydrogen, I've got 6 on the right hand side, and I've got some, so something times 2 is going to make 6. Well that answer is going to be 3. Okay, so 3 times 2, so hydrogen is 3 times by 2, which is 6. So let's have a look, well we've got nitrogen... Two on the left, two on the right, two hydrogens on, sorry, six hydrogens on the left, six on the right. Therefore, we are balanced. Okay, here we've got sulfur and oxygen goes to make sulfur trioxide. Now, we've only got one sulfur here, but we've got eight on this side. So, it might be a good idea to start off by putting an eight here. So, uh, sulfur, we've got eight on the left. We've now got eight on the right. The problem is now how many oxygens have we got? Well, we've got three times by eight, which is 24. 
So we need something times two. So oxygen, okay. Well, we know it's gonna equal 24, but we've got two times something makes 24. So two times by 12, so we put 12 there. That means we've got 24 on this side. Therefore, we are now balanced. Oops, hang on, forgot to put the one there. There we go, done now. Okay, next up, we've got mercury oxide goes to mercury and oxygen. So, uh, let's just uh, split it. Oops, split our page here. So we've got uh, mercury, Hg, we've got oxygen. Now, on the right-hand side, we've got two. So it might be a good idea to put two here, then we know we've got two here. Now, two times by one for the mercury means we've got two here. So what we're gonna have on this side, well, we're gonna have to have a two here. So let's put two in front of there, one there. There we go, we are done, we are balanced. Now, this is a classic that really kind of confuses students. Iron plus oxygen goes to iron oxide, Fe2O3. So let's have a look. Now, iron, uh, Fe, and we've got oxygen here, Fe and oxygen here. Okay, well, we've got three here, and we've got two here. So, uh, what can we do? Well, the problem is, and no matter how many times we uh, uh, look at this, the, the problem is we've got O2 and O3. Now, what might be a good idea is if you put a two here, so we'll double this and we'll double this. We'll end up with four uh, ions and we'll end up with six oxygens. So we've got two on this side. So two times by three is six. So we can put a three there. And then, well, we've just got one iron here. It's just a, a one. They don't write anything if, there's, if it just means one. So we'll have to put a four here. Therefore, we'll get four ions. Four ions on both sides six uh, oxygens on each side. So we're gonna have four Fe plus three O2 goes to two Fe2O3. And we are done, balanced. Okay, next up, potassium and bromine goes to potassium bromide. Well, let's split our page down like this. Now, uh, potassium here, uh, through bromium up here. Now, on this side we've got two uh, bromines, so let's put a two here, and then we can have two here. Now that means we've got two potassiums here, so if we put a two here, we've got two there, so it's going to be two, one, two. So two uh, uh, potassiums plus uh, one bromium uh, molecule is going to go to two uh, potassium bromides. Okay, again, exactly the same technique. Split over here. Let's look at the difference between what we've got on the left and on the right. And then we'll try and make sure that these things are balanced. So we're talking about uh, phosphorus plus oxygen goes to phosphorus oxide. So firstly, we've got uh, two phosphoruses over here. So now let's just write this down. P and O, uh, P and O for oxygen. Now, on the left-hand side, we've got four phosphorus atoms. So if we put a two here, that's gonna give us four here. So that is balanced. But the oxygen, two times five, we've got 10 here. So we need something times by two is gonna give us 10. The answer is five. So therefore we've got 10 on this side and we are balanced. Okay, last one. This time we've got carbon dioxide and water it goes to C6, H12O6 plus O2. So let's just split down there. And we're talking about carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And we have to have the same number on both sides. Now, on the right-hand side, you can see here, we've got six carbons. So what I'm gonna suggest Let's leave this as a one, and let's just put a six there. So therefore we know now we've got six 
uh, carbons on each side, so the carbon's balanced. Now what about hydrogen? Well, we've got 1 times by 12, so let's put a 12 there. Now, uh, at the moment we've got, uh, in the water molecule, uh, which is here, we've got H2. So what times by 2 is going to give us 12? Well, 6 will. So let's try and put a 6 there. That's going to balance this. Now the oxygens, well, on the left hand side we've got 6 times 12, uh, which is coming from the carbon uh, dioxide, so we've got 6 times 12, and we've got 6 times 1, sorry, 6 times 12, what am I on about? 6 times 2, sorry, and 6 times 1. So let's just have a look, 6 times 2 is 12, and we've got uh, 6, so we've got 18 in total. Uh, on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side we've got 1 times by 6 plus, well we don't know what's going here just yet, but let's have a look. So we've got 1 times by 6, so that's going to leave us with uh, how many left? Well we've got 18 on the left so we want plus 12, so something uh, times by 2 so some number here times by 2 is going to leave us with 12, well that number is 6. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 6 oxygens uh, from here, coming from here, that means this is now balanced. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe.